Good evening, y'all. First off, let me apologize because I know it's late. Some people might be getting ready to go to bed and whatnot. So sorry for keeping you awake. Uh, or some people might say, hey, engraving your videos put me to sleep. So there you go. It'll help. But anyway, um, you ever had somebody that you know that when there's a problem, instead of trying to fix the problem, they try to create an even bigger problem? Um, well, that is what this article seems to be to me. Uh, I've been seeing this picture float around all day today. And initially when I saw it, I'm like, what? That, there's no, that, that can't be real. It, it can't be. There's no way that that's real. I ain't believing it. But then I saw the link to the article. And initially when I first saw the, the proposal, I'm like, hold up. This, this got to be satire. It, it got to be satire. It, it, it got to be one of those fake websites that's that's trolling but they try to paint it as a serious thing but i i don't i don't think it is i think like this person that wrote this that they were serious but let's just read the article together and yeah anyway um it is from uh, wisconsin sport heroics uh, it is by McQuaid Arnold, and it says a proposed trade between Ravens and the Packers sends an all pro to Green Bay. <laughs> and you, like from jump, the title of the article, it, it, it kind of make you scratch your head like, all right, a, a trade between the, the Ravens and the Packers would send an all pro to Green Bay. But what about what would you send it to the Ravens? But let's read it. Ooh, yikes. Says, the Packers and the Ravens both have glaring needs on the offensive side of the ball. Both teams expect to compete for a top playoff seed and a deep playoff run. This trade would fill a gap for both teams without leaving a hole at a different position. Okay. Let's just keep going. Going into the 2022 season, the Green Bay Packers seem to be without a true number one tight end. So y'all already know where this is headed. You already know where this is headed, but let's keep going. They are hoping that Robert Tanyan returns to his 2020 record-breaking self. However, there are no guarantees coming off of that torn ACL. With the Ravens trading Marquise Brown to the Cardinals, their top two receivers are Rashad Bateman and Devin DuVernay. Uh, together, those two wide receivers accounted for just over 700 yards and three touchdowns in 2021. So you see how he's setting this thing up, right? That's why, again, I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is satire, but I, I don't think it is. Anyway, keep going. He said the proposed trade, the Ravens would receive tight end Robert Tunyon, wide receiver Amari Rogers, and a 2023 third round pick. And they would give up. So the Packers would receive tight end Mark Andrews and a 2023 fifth round pick. This trade is absolutely disgusting. And that's, of course, no offense to Robert Tanyan and Amari Rogers, but this trade is absolutely disgusting. This is nasty. It's really, really nasty. That's why I said that this, this can't be real, but when I read the article, I'm like, hold up. Maybe the homeboy might be serious. But let's keep reading. This type of trade would be colossal in the NFL. Oh, it sure would be. It sure would be. And I would need Colossus from X-Men to knock out whoever approved this trade if it happened. But let's keep going. Green Bay would acquire an all-pro tight end. Yeah, yeah they would. Uh, something that they haven't had in quite some time. Aaron Rodgers has shown what he can do with a competent tight end over the years. The Ravens would get a more than serviceable tight end in return with Robert Tanyan, but they also get a Marquise Brown replacement. While Amari Rodgers didn't have a successful rookie season, his ceiling remains sky high in this league. If the Ravens utilize him like they did Brown, he could flourish. So, hey, if I'm the Green Bay Packers, hey, Baltimore Ravens, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Um, I just wanted to uh, see if you guys would be willing to give up the guy who was the, the best tight end in the league last year um, because you guys got some unproven receivers. So how about you, you give us Mark Andrews. We give you an unproven receiver so he can add to your unproven receivers, but then you make your, a, a big hole for yourselves at tight end. How about you do that? That's what this trade is saying. It, it makes a problem an even bigger problem because we know, yeah, right now Ravens got a lot of a lot of unproven guys at the receiver position. But why? <laughs> why would you create a hole 
to just add another unproven guy to your group of unproven guys. It's like Mark and I don't even know what I'm talking so much about this. Anyway, um, he said uh, Mark Andrews tied for the third most receptions for a tight end in a season in 2021. He also had the third most receiving yards. And see, with that, with Mark Andrews, I mean, this ain't got to be explained to none of y'all because you already know. But Mark Andrews showed like, hey, I can get it done with anybody. He obviously got it done with Lamar Jackson. It's like, okay, that's expected. Tyler Huntley came in there. Nothing changed. And then Josh Johnson was in there. Mark Andrews was still putting up numbers. So those are those, those players that can do that, those, in my eyes, are the elite of the elite. When they have every single reason, every single reason to be out of the games, to not be a factor anymore, but they still keep on trucking and they get it done. Uh, and, and a lot of it depends on circumstance, too. But anyway. DeAndre Hopkins is another one of those guys. Remember when he was with the Texans and they went through like 50 quarterbacks, but he still balled? Anyway, um, uh, he also had the third most receiving yards. He's just the seventh tight end to finish a season with 100 receptions and 1,000 receiving yards. Mark Andrews is just 26 years old, and his prime years could still be ahead of him. I'm like, I'm looking... And I'm, I'm trying to find something that says, hey, it's a joke. Hey, maybe this is an article from April 1st. Hey, <laughs> I'm just playing around. Hey, I'm just messing around. Now, let me look at the, the, the related posts. Because maybe the, the related posts, they can tell a story of what type of articles he normally writes. So I look up at the related posts. It says, PFF drops crazy grade for quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Okay, ain't nothing crazy. Packers coach has strong words for absent Sammy Watkins. Okay, Packers named as likely destination for unhappy Pro Bowl receiver. Ah, okay, proposed trade between Panthers and Packers sends veteran wide receiver to Green Bay. Ah, see, that must be talking about Robbie Anderson. So, you know what? I, I, I do like that. I do like that, that he, uh, he, he, be, he be throwing some different trade scenarios out there. Hey, could we do the same thing on here, too? But this, like, <laughs> this, <laughs> oh, this, yeah, no, man. Um, so I actually do think that, yeah, I think he was serious about it. He was serious about that proposal, serious about that, like, just the, the, the construction of that trade. And I, I feel like, whether somebody was a Ravens fan or a Packers fan, I, I think when you think about a scenario like that, and I know it's the off season, so our minds they get to wondering that much more. So I ain't got no problem with that. That's cool. It is what it is. But to think of something like that, and yeah, he he went for it. So you know what? I, I respect him for going for it. I do think it is a little crazy. Not him himself, but the actual trade, like. The Ravens giving up one of the best players, not even on offense, but one of their best players on the team to get back Runyon or Ten Tanyan, Tanyan. I don't even remember his name right now. And, uh, and Amari Rodgers? Really, man? I, I mean, sometimes we, we'll throw some stuff out there, but I don't know, man. It just... That's just wild to me. So my apologies if you was getting ready to go to bed and, and this little notification woke you up. Um, go back to bed and enjoy your rest. Or if you're just waking up, whenever, whatever time you're watching this, I just I just had to share with y'all how I felt about that, man. Because uh, that one was, uh, that this one got a big yikes from me. A, a real big yikes from me. Because like I said, I, I was seriously scared that like this was something like real, like serious, like, hey, Oh yeah, Packers. We're gonna get Mark Andrews. Well, we will take Mark Andrews and and what a fifth round pick, and and the Packers will send over a tight end and a Mar and a third. Like for, for 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 you to try the Ravens like that, for you to try them like that. At least if you're gonna do something like that, if you're gonna propose something like that, then you got to at least throw in two first round picks straight up and 
and you know, and a, it's Mark Andrews now, man. It ain't just no random tight. It's Mark Andrews. You got to throw in at least two first. That like, oh, all right. Let me let me get out of here because this thing making my stomach hurt. It's, it's it's making me get a little dizzy and whatnot. So anyway, I love y'all. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Um, it's getting ready to be June first. Maybe by the time you're watching this, it'll be already be June first. But um, just just keep on the lookout for these this talk and some of these articles and there be some videos too now. Um, but just cause I don't know, man. Cause I I, I don't like I said cause cause we get some questions from subscribers. We get some questions from subscribers that have put out some stuff where it's like, whoa, okay. Okay, I respect the greed. And again, I do respect the greed. But, I mean, I don't think we've ever gotten anything like that before. Like, anything that crazy. Um, But, it is what it is. Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like Mark Andrews won't be anytime soon when it comes to being with the Ravens, I'm out.